Hi there, this is Nikki Rowland and I'm here today designing a layout for the Freckled Fawn design team using the August embellishment kit um, and I've also got a set of journaling cards uh, too that match the kit um, and are really gorgeous so I'm going to incorporate some of those into my layouts uh, this month as well. Um, so I thought I'd start off by um, walking you through the uh, new uh, Freckled Fawn August embellishment kit. Um, this is the first time I've used this kit so just going to show it to you there that is gorgeous uh, rose gold wood grain foiled washi tape it is absolutely stunning um, then there's a small uh, yellow flare badge there that's a yeah, yellow it's yellow in color it has a white doily on it with a little tiny heart in the middle um, then in this little bag here um, there are three charms so the bag actually was quite difficult to open <laughs> which is why I'm struggling there um, okay so there's three charms in here so a, a little doily a big doily um, a feather and a leaf they are gorgeous very intricate lovely uh, detail to those and these are um, wood veneers uh, they're printed so they have black uh, lines on them which are pictures of flowers uh, really pretty um, and then they're obviously cut to shape as well these are acetate doilies there's 18 of them in the pack, so you've got quite a few there. Um, they're in a few different colours, I think six different colours, and they're different designs as well. And there you can see them all there. Very lovely. Now these are my favourite item in the kit this month. They are uh, epoxy stickers. They've uh, got they've got the clear epoxy over the top of them. The most of the stickers are the um, the flowers, the same floral pattern as is on the wood veneers, but they're infused with gold, so they're absolutely gorgeous. And then there's some other enamel shapes, different colours in that set too. Uh, these are the um, paper clips. They are shaped, the rose gold colour and they're shaped as to do. There we go, very lovely. Then these are a set of clear word stickers. They've got little phrases on, Most, some of them are about travel and adventures, um, and they have little doodle borders around the edges. They're really, really very cute and easy to use. There you go, I want that focus. There you go, really gorgeous, I love those. And finally, there was supposed to be a set of arrows uh, in the kit, but uh, unfortunately they are uh, there was a problem with manufacturing, so they are going to be shipped with the next kit. So they are missing from this month's kit, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that is the um, August kit, and those that gorgeous, gorgeous doily um, mint-coloured pouch um, that they all came in. Um, for my first layout today, I am going to work with the doilies. I've also cut some doilies using my silhouette machine, just a little bit bigger than the actual um, acetate doilies. And uh, I'm going to—I've cut one for every uh, doily, so I'm going to layer those on top. Um, I'm going to use eight doilies on this layout, all mounted on a white cardstock doily. Okay, I'm going to arrange those into a wreath onto my page. And choose a border, a background to go around the edge of my paper. I like my layouts to have backgrounds, so I've chosen a Maggie Holmes carousel uh, paper. I'm just sticking all of my doilies in place, um, just using a tape gun, a very small amount in the middle of each one, because I'm going to apply some stitching. So now they're all stuck in place. Now I've done some stitching there on my uh, machine. So I've uh, gone around 
um, in a circle. I'm not very good at sewing in a circle, so this was a bit of a, a out of my comfort zone, uh, but I just about managed. I'm, what I'm doing now is, because the doilies are stuck in the middle, I'm trying to give them some dimension around the, uh, the sides, so I've just popped some foam pads underneath. Um, this is my um, Maggie Holmes uh, background, carousel background. Um, I've just taken the middle out of that there because I didn't want the pattern to shine through my cardstock. Um, and uh, I've uh, stuck my white background to the border. Now that I've got the photo I want, I'm just mounting that on a piece of the uh, reverse side of the Maggie Holmes paper. Uh, it's got white. It's got this white background with stars all over it. Um, and I've taken, I've cut that doily out of the middle of one of the journaling cards, um, and I'm using the rest of the journaling card to be an extra mount on top of my, uh, or behind my photo. Um, so that's my photo all layered up. I've got a piece of washi tape stuck in place there as well. And I'm just trying to figure out what else I can add to this layout. It's already quite busy with the eight doilies on there, all different colours. Um, and uh, so I'm just going through having a look. I've used a lot of the enamel shapes uh, that came on the stickers. Um, and uh, I've put those tone on tone. So I've put yellow ones on the yellow doilies and pink ones on the pink doilies and green ones on the green doilies, etc. Um, and uh, I'm not sure about that fussy cut doily, whether I'm going to use that or not at this stage. Um, I've got a camera there that I've just cut out of one of the journaling cards and I'm going to try and get that onto the layout somehow and a little phrase. Um, so I've decided to add that to the pink doily there. So I'm going to go for that um, white metal charm, doily charm, um, but I want to, it's got a little thing on it to uh, put the tag, put some thread through, um, so I don't like to use the charms without uh, tying thread through them because I feel they look like they're floating a bit. Um, so I've uh, got some gold thread there and I'm trying my hardest to thread it through the doily um, and put some, uh, put a little uh, ring of string uh, thread there too, um, get that in. Uh, I struggled a bit to get the thread through the, the the metal doily and then you'll see in a moment I really struggled to get the thread tucked underneath and stuck in place. Um, thread never behaves very well for me uh, for some reason so I just well, I don't use it very often but uh, I've given it a go on this one. And I'm just sticking that little phrase, the little tiny phrase, uh, picture perfect, picture worthy moment um, on the doily there. So that's my title. Um, and I'm just putting a wood veneer to the right of my photo along with that little uh, circle of thread there um, and I've added a, phrase, a little phrase sticker uh, from the clear sticker sheet uh, to the top right of my photo and uh, of other points around the wreath too. And I'm just finishing off with some Heidi Swap Colour Shine in gold um, and uh, that's it. I'm going to call my layout done. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, that was Nikki Rowland for Freckled Fawn.